what I do. So today I'm gonna be showing you what a full day of eating looks like for me, show you how many calories I consume throughout the day, if that involves any snacks and so on. And if you like any of these meals, go ahead, feel free to try them out. Maybe you'll start to incorporate them. So let's go. So while that's cooking up, I like to get one of my toppings ready. So we're gonna measure out about 150 grams. And of course you can put any toppings you like. I like strawberries because they're lower in calories. Okay, we got 163, that's good. Put in the microwave for two minutes. French toast is now cooked up. Now comes the fun part, assembling it. Now we get the strawberries, place them around the plate. You can make it look pretty, don't really matter. See, that one fell. Now my favorite part. We get to dress it up. Put a little bit of whipped cream. And then some Miss Butterworks, the sugar-free. The wetter, the better. I don't want that bread to be on dry. And then, I already measured out two grams of mini, what are they called? What are these called? Chocolate chips. So two grams of mini chocolate chips. Sprinkle them around, or just throw them on top. And then, you get the little juice from inside, from those strawberries, and you just drizzle it all around. Boom, that's meal number one. Hombre, puro chef Ramsey here. Now gonna enjoy this. And if you're looking at this and you're like, man, that must be packed with a lot of calories. Boy, you're wrong. So, calories and macros for this meal. We're looking at 549 calories, 84 carbs, four grams of fat, and 40 grams of protein. See, so this is called anabolic French toast, thanks to Coach Greg. Then there's a misconception. Man, all those carbs, all that bread's gonna get you fat. Uh, well, I'm living proof that I haven't gotten fat. Carbs are not your enemy, they're your friend. <music> So this video I'm editing right now, it's already up on the channel, or it should be up on the channel. It's the push day video. So if you haven't watched it, go check it out. Go like and subscribe. So now let's get started with meal number two. So this meal is actually gonna be my pre-workout snack, you can call it. And I've been enjoying making this smoothie or shake right before or after my workout. It's been making me feel good, so I'm gonna show you what it has. So now let's put all this in our cup and blend it up. Ah yes, all natural. Cause it tastes like dirt. This time I came out a lot better than last time. Last time I came out all thick, this time it's a smooth consistency. And this time I made it with water. Now I gotta clean up everything. I gotta clean up everything because I made a mess just for like a 10 second video. So calories and macros for this snack right here is gonna be 365 calories. We're looking at 34 carbs, 10 grams of fat, and that's mostly like from the chia seeds and hemp seeds, all those little organic seeds and then 27 grams of protein. I'm gonna finish this up, let it digest for a little bit and then I'm gonna go hit a back workout and then I'll see you guys when I get back. And I'm back, back in black. Overall today was a, I would say a seven out of 10 workout. Pretty good for a back day, but now I'm starving. So I'm gonna get started on my next meal. This is gonna be an omelet. Man, I've been craving an omelet for so long. The base is gonna be five to six ounces of egg whites and i'm gonna throw in one egg also gonna throw in some spinach some 
onion, some little tomatoes, and a little bit of mushrooms. So let's go. Now, do not judge my excellent knife skills, if I have any. This wouldn't be an omelet without some cheese, so I'm gonna be throwing in some Velveeta slices. I chose these because each slice is 35 calories. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw two of these in. Also gonna throw in a little bit of this peppered turkey breast because it's low in calorie and it tastes good. So now let's assemble this omelet. See if I can flip it. I've done this before. One, two, three. Let's go. Oh, okay, it opened a little bit, but I flipped it, okay? So I prefer not to drink my calories, so I always end up drinking water or some kind of uh, diet or a zero calorie drink. So today I'm gonna be making an Arnold Palmer. So for that, you need some zero, what is it called? Some zero sugar lemony, because this is zero calories. And then I found this at my local a grocery store at HB. It's the diet green tea. So just mix these two together however much you want. I'm gonna go for four ounces and four ounces, eight ounces total, and boom. And the final product is right here. Look at the size of this omelet. It's bigger than my hand for comparison. So for this meal, total calories is 349, 39 grams of carbs, fat, eight grams, and protein, 34 grams. So it's pretty good for an omelet here. So like I mentioned, I don't like to drink my calories. So what I do is I have this jug, it's a Yeti jug. This is half a gallon, sponsor me Yeti. So in the morning, I'll fill this up. And then throughout the day, if I finish it, then I'll just fill it up again. And my usual goal is to finish half a gallon to a gallon of water. So I'm gonna relax a little bit and enjoy this omelet. Whoa. Time for a snack. I'm gonna be making some anabolic ice cream, but with a little bit of a twist to it. So let me show you what ingredients we need. So we have 140 grams of strawberries, two grams of the mini chocolate chips, and then we're gonna be using 15 grams of this sugar-free Jello, one quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum, and then my choice of protein is gonna be the BPN, the blueberry muffin flavor. Then we're gonna use half a cup of silk cashew milk. Then you can use any zero calorie uh, sugar. I'm gonna be using this one. All the ingredients are in here with some ice. Now we just need to blend it up. So here's a true test if you did it right. If you did it right, you should be able to do this. I always get so nervous. Oh, so Coach Greg, that's a pass. Oh. And then watch it, they're gonna actually fall on me. Some thick ice cream. And here's what the final product looks like. Boom. So calories and macros will be up on the screen. So this is a whole lot better and healthier than whatever you'll get at a restaurant or even like a Dairy Queen. So I went ahead and topped it off with some PB2, about like a gram or two, and then again with some sugar-free Ms. Butterworks. See, so you gotta know how to make low-calorie, delicious meals. So now, for sure, I'm gonna enjoy this. All right, last meal of the day, we're gonna be making some pizza. So most pizza has a lot of calories, and that's because of the crust. So for the crust, I'm gonna be using this. It's so a flat out bread. So each flat bread has 90 calories. So I'm gonna be using two of them. That adds up to 180 calories. For my toppings, I'm gonna be using some spinach. I'm gonna add a sausage link and then a little bit of ham. And then I also have this low calorie pizza sauce. So this one's a 35 calories for 61, for 61 grams. And then for my cheese, I'm gonna be using again, two slices of the Velveeta, uh, Velveeta brand. So let's assemble this. So oven is set to 325 degrees. I'm not sure if you can see that. So now we're just gonna put it in. So now we put it in for 15 minutes and now we wait. Pizza time. Pizza is now done. Let's check it out. Uh, 
Yes, sir. The total calories and macros for this pizza is going to be 512 calories, 60 grams of carbs, 21 grams of fat, and 38 grams of protein. So not bad. So another tip is I'm going to add this little bit of Walden Farms. This is the Chipotle Ranch. It's zero calorie. Just drizzle it on top and boom right there. And I'm also going to be enjoying it with this zero sugar, uh, zero calorie Canada Dry. So finally, total calories and macros for today are going to be 2,022 calories. And usually for the day, I like to go for 2,100 calories, but that's fine. Total carbs is 252 grams. Total fat is 49 grams. And then for protein, we're at 165 grams. So overall, pretty good day of eating. If you noticed, a lot of my meals were low calorie but dense food. That way you can still get full while also being like in a caloric deficit if that's your goal. Right now I'm trying to stay at my current weight and then also progress uh, and increase muscle. So I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next video.